in conjunction with Uncle Doug, uh, my father and mother, um, we were children and we had to, we had to uh, be involved. Uh, that's why it was like a training thing for all of us. And we, uh, I remember us being in concerts, going around the region, uh, educating the wider community into trying to into understanding that you know we can do things too. Why were some Aboriginal people more passionate about the vote than others? Well, that's the same as today. You know, it all depends on the interest of the people involved. But the driving force at that time from our senior elders was because of the conditions of the people. Tell me about when you stood for the election. Why did you do that? Well, the uh, original person at that time was uh, David Anderson. And uh, because David was uh, involved in university and studies, etc., uh, he asked me if I'd be interested in uh, taking his place. I think it was called the uh, Australia Party thing. But I stood as an independent. It was uh, exciting. Uh, I learned a lot. Having to get out and speak in public. I was uh, quite emotional at that time too, nervous. But I wanted to do something. I felt I helped to get uh, the Minister for Aboriginal Affairs out because he was, we considered him to be arrogant. Well, I have voted a number of times. Uh, one was for Whitlam and uh, the one I really wanted to see come in was Rudd. So I'm just uh, hoping to be able to see a lot of improvement there. Time will tell. How important do you think it is that Aboriginal women vote? It's very important because uh, they have to think about their children now and into the future for their families and um, uh, because our women have always had to stand up in, in support of our men too, uh, who always bore the brunt of uh, government policies. It's important for them to get educated into the needs of all the community, the families, not just to vote without knowing about those issues which affect them directly. If you don't have a solid backing from the people, then it just doesn't happen. It could for a short time, but uh, it's got to be with the support of everyone. That's our cultural way, and the cultural protocols must be followed. There's always encouragement, but uh, then we've also had people who speak against them uh, voting. If you vote, you'll get into trouble because of this and that, you know? And it was a misunderstanding and it wasn't appropriate that people talk like that to, you know, persuade others not to vote because we became, uh, we came to realise that the vote is important because it means that that's the census is taken from that and that's the funding from that census that affects all the families. And that's why it is very important that people get the vote because that's our way of uh, establishing how many of our people are in need. Where I used to also think, I don't have to vote, we don't get anything anyway. You know, that attitude. We've got to talk for it and create understanding and awareness of our people's situation, even today. We still get that, um, you know, that attitude of racism. Those people from way back then are the reason why we're here today. So we must never forget their sacrifices. We must never forget it, where we've come from, our roots and our foundation. Every organisation we have has been established by our own people, not the governments. It's only the government structures that the government puts up. And, uh, you know, the funding is never enough for, for the needs of the people. 
was pretty good for a while in welfare, I guess, that's the only thing, and we've always had trouble with employment, we've always had trouble with housing, uh, we've always had trouble with legal issues. Our people are not yet fully educated about the voting process. Just a lack of education about the rights is the base of it all, I guess. And nobody has shown interest in uh, having a lot of votes from Aboriginal people because they don't know what the results would be up that would affect them down the track, you know. If the uh, electoral office were to go around and educate Aboriginal communities on their rights of voting, then that would be a good thing. The uh, effect of policies on your family, that's a start and you go on from there. You look, uh, look at other families, talk together, you know, gather information, and, uh, you know, you start doing uh, stuff on the prices of food, for instance, consumer stuff. Uh, you look at the stuff that's affecting the general public. If it's going to affect the general public, then it's certainly going to affect our people much more. But because we can survive the worst situation, we've had a lot of practice at it. And we will survive. There will be mountains that I will have to climb. And there will be battles that I will have to fight. If you can read on your feet, it's up to me to decide. But how can I expect to win if I never try? I, I just can't give up now I've come too far from where I started from Nobody told me the road would be easy And I don't believe he's brought me this far to leave me Never said there wouldn't be trials Never said I wouldn't fall Never said that everything would go The way I wanted to go But when my back is against the wall And I feel the hope is gone I'll just leave my head up to the sky and say, help me to be strong. Oh, I just can't give up now. I've come too far from where I started from. Nobody told me the road would be easy And I don't believe he's brought me this far to leave me No, I don't believe he's brought me this far to leave me Thank you.